Imagine you're playing a game of basketball with your friends. The teams are pretty even, but then suddenly LeBron James comes. The team with LeBron almost has a guaranteed win. That's kind of what it's like to have God on your side. Elijah the prophet knows this and uses this to his, his advantage. In 1 Kings 18, Elijah goes to the land of Israel to point the people of Israel back in the direction of God. But before I talk about that, let me give you a bit of background. So Israel is ruled by a leader named Ahab right now. And his wife, Jezebel, doesn't like the prophets of the Lord. So she's killed all of them or driven them to hiding. So Elijah is the only prophet in the land of Israel right now. So everyone in the land has started to worship false gods like the law. So let's get back to the story. So Elijah goes to meet with Ahab and tells Ahab, let's have everyone meet, have a gathering. So they go to meet on Mount Carmel. So all the people are gathered there, all the people and all the prophets of the false gods. So they all meet there and Elijah tells them, you guys can't worship two gods. You have to pick one, Bilal or God. The people of Israel stay silent. Elijah tells them, okay, so I'll give the prophets of the false god one bull, and I'll take one bull. And whichever bull lights on fire is the one true god. So the false prophets go and try to call on their god's name to light their bull on fire, but it doesn't work. So Elijah goes and taunts them. He tells them, you guys might need to shout louder. Maybe your god's asleep. He's tired. So the people of the false gods, they start to shout louder and start to perform one of the rituals, which involved themselves repeatedly stabbing themselves, which is fun. So <laughs> then they go, and nothing happens still. So Elijah calls everyone over. He calls them to the altar of the Lord that's in ruins. He sets it up with 12 stones on the outside, one for each tribe of Jacob. And then he tells them to set the bull on the altar and pour four large jars of water on it. He tells them to do this three different times. So the bull is kind of covered in water right now. And then Elijah calls on the Lord to set the bull on fire. And the Lord does it right away. And the people of Israel rejoice and cry out, the Lord is the one true God. During Elijah's entire time in Israel, he stays loyal to the Lord. He doesn't waver in his faith. He knows that God is with him and on his side, and he knows that he can't lose when he's with him. So Elijah shows us that with Elijah, with God on our side, we will always have a guaranteed win, and he'll always lead us on the path of victory, and we won't lose.